Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be creating a Twitter UI utilizing the new Sonnet 3.5 by Anthropics in less than five minutes. So, all right, so let's just get it right into it, okay? So right here, we have a UI that I found inside of the Figma community. Sonnet itself is not a big fan of using already copyrighted trademark uh, material. So we're going to go ahead and copy this right here. We're going to do a Windows Shift command. Once we copy that over, we're then just going to paste it inside of the Claude 3.5 Sonnet, okay? And you can see I already have the artifacts turned on, so be sure to turn that on and you'll see why. So now we have to ask it, please give me the UI for this code. And what it's going to now do is generate a copy of this code using React and Tailwind, which is pretty amazing since I already like to utilize Next.js. And once this is done, right, you can see right here, it uses already Tailwind. You'll see something that's going to happen that's pretty amazing. So just give it a couple more seconds. It's getting towards the bottom. And now it's going to generate a preview of the code. As you can see, my co copy of the code had different elements, right? You can see I had a W, had said post. However, Claude Sonnet 3.5 recognized that I was trying to replicate Twitter. So it, so it already went ahead and added a lot of those elements. And so as you can see, it's already generated pretty quickly. So in less than about a minute, we were able to generate that code. So now on the bottom right hand corner, we can go go ahead and copy the contents. Let's go ahead and open our Next.js project. As you can see, I already have mine up and running. So let's go over to the components folder and we're going to call this one uh, social media UI. So let's go ahead and create a new file. Let's call that social media UI. And we're going to make this a JSX file. Let's go ahead and paste that in there. Let's go ahead and remove some of those errors. It does not like apostrophes. And now all we simply have to do is just go into our index file since I'm using the source directory. And let's just go ahead and imp import uh, the uh, the last file, so which is a social media UI. Make sure that we close that tag. And so make sure that's imported correctly. And now when we go over into our local host, right? It should show up inside of our project. And just like that, we now have a, you can see an interactive uh, version of a essentially Twitter, right? You can see that each tag is able to be clicked on. Of course, you have to adjust a little bit of the component to make sure that we have those files, right? So as you can see right now, it labels them, but there is not a uh, correct routing system to it. So just like that, we're able to just create UI very quickly that resembles something that you create either on Figma or um, or a different project, right? So now that we have that, let's go ahead and actually try a different example, right? So let's go ahead, right here we see this profile. Same thing we're going to do. Let's just go ahead and copy this right here. Let's go over to Claude. I'll say thank you, right? So since I like to be nice to the AI. Now make me a profile page, right? Let's go ahead and paste that UI that we copied from our Figma. And let's see what it outputs now, right? So it says, certainly I'll create a React component for a profile based on the image that you uploaded, right? So let's see how it looks like. You can see it already added that background as a gray color instead of the white color. So it actually has a really good multimodal system that previously it was not. So this is now, in my opinion, much better than even chat GPT uh, 4.0, right? So pretty cool stuff. So now that it's about to finish here in a bit, as you can see, it's very quick, right? This is insane how quickly this thing goes. Um, it should generate that preview for us here in a bit. And there we go, right? As you can see that it highlights the profile page. Uh, you can see there's a lot of missing images, but that's fine, right? Of course, your job is going to be to enter any of the dynamic uh, elements from your database and such. So let's go ahead and go over to pages and we're going to create a new page. We're going to go ahead and call that profile right profile this is a js file let's go ahead and copy the index folder paste that in there and let's go ahead and delete the social media ui because we don't need that one and inside of our components we want to drop in the this file right here which is called profile page so 
Let's go ahead and call this profile page. And once again, we'll make this a JSX, right? So let's go ahead and paste that. Oh, wrong one. Copy the previous one again. So we're pasting, pasting in our profile page component. And now we just simply have to go into our profile uh, page and profile page. Let's go ahead and close that out just like that. And now if we head over to profile, it should show up and there you go. As you can see, we, we have our profile page component. Um, and again, if you want to change the background, if you know anything about uh, Tailwind, you can always just go in here, call this white, right? And it should change it to a white component. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Edward Ornelas. Please be sure to like and subscribe, guys. I will try to be uploading much more regularly. The last upload, I think, was over a year and a half ago, maybe a little bit longer now. I've been you know, busy working on a couple of projects. Actually, I'm finishing up college right now with my uh, software engineering degree. Um, so lots of exciting stuff and I will pl I'm planning on making more content here pretty soon So be sure to like and subscribe follow guys for more and again. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Bye. Bye